hello guys welcome to today's video by trust Stanley. um this is a ts tech talks video guys so on today's video i'm going to show you how to transfer your data from an iphone to an android device so on my right hand i have an android device which is a samsung device and on my left hand i have an iphone so to transfer um device or data from this android or iphone to an android phone all you need to do is to go ahead and open the app or um or Android or iPhone store and um, Google Play Store. Go ahead and type this application right there and then type in Zender. And then you can notice this first one right there, the Zender file share. There are two Zender on your iPhone, you can notice. But the main logo or the main one is this first one. It has like an orange and a blue color so go ahead and select that and install this exact zender and install this zender also on your android once you once you have them installed go ahead and click on open i already have them installed so no need to install them so just click on open once in a while it shows this advert just go ahead and click on continue zender right now if you want to transfer things from an iphone to um an android or an android to an iphone the only things you can do is one you need to connect with um you need to send with an android if you try to send with an iphone um an android cannot connect with an iphone but an iphone can connect with an android so you need to click on send on your android before you connect with an iphone and then two you cannot send application you cannot send android application to your iphone but you can send folders images file documents videos Every other thing apart from Android applications, you can send Android application to an iPhone. All right. Now, in order to start, first go ahead and click on this um, arrow on the bottom or uh, um, these two arrow on the bottom. Now, go ahead and click on send on your Android device and you can notice it's going to get connected. And quick note, guys, you can turn on, turn off your mobile data. It doesn't actually need your mobile data. Turn it off and then click on this other area and then say receive now when you click on receive you notice on your iphone where it says um connect this is an advert um you notice where it says connect um android right go ahead and tap on connect android and then move your phone over to um the the batch code on your android or the qq code on your android and then you can notice it scans that qq code and then it says zender wants to join wifi android just go ahead and click on join and wait for it to connect it might take a while depending on how fast your device is so let's wait for it to connect and then um let's wait <laughs> all right you notice it says connection successful now the connection is successful and we can now start sending stuff. So I'm going to try to send this screenshot that I took on my iPhone. I'm going to click on that and then I'm going to tap send. And I'm going to click on this area to see what is being sent. And you can notice I just sent this stuff right there on my Android, on my from my iPhone to an Android. And I have another thing on my iPhone also. I can still send this other one too. Click on send. I'm going to close, I'm going to back out and you see this is what i just sent from my iphone and also let me go ahead and try to send from my android i just click on the image area and then i'm going to tap on this and then i'm going to select and then send and also you can do that for videos too you can come over to your videos area select videos and then send and you can notice it being sent right there look at everything that i've just sent just now they are all being sent you notice on the below area it says um sent and on top it says received right now that is all that i've been able to do you can send images give folder just about anything the only thing you can send is application android application or iphone application so that is more like it guys if this video is helpful smash like and subscribe to the channel for more video and if you have any issue or any question using this please leave your comment on the question section or, or the comment section i'll be able to answer each and every one of them and hopefully i'm going to see you guys on my next video please stay safe and peace